Okay, first uh, thing you need to do is there's this little seal right here. It's simple enough. Right underneath this door cell. Nice and easily. You pull it off. Simple enough. Okay, you got these plastic screws. And they're uh, T25 Torx, and you have nine of them that you need to unscrew along the whole bottom. Once you get these, Voila. Okay. You got nine of them. So. Pull it out. Pull it out like that. Yeah. I guess you, uh, you grab this door sill and uh, you just pull it straight out like this and it unclips. As you can see, the design on it. Okay, so it's designed simply enough to just pull straight out. Real simple, real easy. And uh, I'm glad these things are pretty light. You know, it's, it's kind of cool. Thought they would have been heavier, which, you know. All right, well, it looks like, looks like we got these that hold the side skirts on it looks like there's three of them and e15 torx and pretty much it's pretty straightforward you just loosen it that comes out and you have three of them so this is behind the front wheel. Um, I got those tabs to remove. Actually, I gotta go check on my chicken. I'm gonna burn my house down. I'll be right back. Tabs that pull out. So you can use a little plastic pry thing and, you know, get under there and, you know, just start getting these off. And there's three of them remove these three from the splash shield right so pretty much when you have all your torques out here everything else on your you know door sills and you just go that way with it go forward with it as much as you could and then pull out and got all these little white things that were on here. Important. And then there's these little rubber pieces for stays, I believe that keeps everything aligned. And you have your side. Okay, so those look like 10 millimeters. And there's two 10 millimeter nuts that come right off. Pretty pretty simple. And um, this I'm sure is pretty straightforward. Yeah, my engine's pretty dusty. All right. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Loosen that one off.
right there and right there. So I believe the next step is to remove the grill. It's a T25 Torx. And I believe it allows you to get access to inside where you have two. So you got two 10 millimeters that you have to get inside here. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see them when you have the fender vents off. So let's, let's the passenger side in order to get the two bolts off through the fender grill. All right, you could get in there with the long extension. You don't want to take that washer off. You do have to take the splash shield off. Hopefully that's uh, focused enough. What I'm looking at back through here back through there and then on this side you'll have a little access to get in here you'll probably need an extension with a little swivel at the end 10 millimeter little swivel on the end here so if you don't want to be taking this washer reservoir out which I've kind of tried to get it a little out it's it's kind of a pain in the ass so I'm just gonna try to go in with an extension it's the only other way it's the only way to get this fender out so that's just a little speed bump you're gonna run into when I'm talking about a swivel I'm talking about something like this you don't want to have that hardcore swivel because uh, probably get all screwed up in there and just fall so something like this and put your tent on it get it all the way in there all right when I was talking about the extension I was not kidding I mean look how long this sucker is so you need to get a real long extension it needs to be like two feet at least and uh, with the swivel at the end a serious extension all right this extension needs to go right in here back down in here and the tens back there you loosen that for the other one gotta pay attention here Tens off inside. Hopefully that's it. If not, I will definitely let you know. Since okay, so I'm. Um, it's obviously coming out. I'm making sure that I'm not gonna scrape up the A pillar. And I just voila, it's out. Here we go. One, please subscribe to my channel and I hope it helped. So now you know how to remove your side skirts and your fender. Cheers.